it also gives us the red flag and the end of proceedings, I somewhat fear, of over-aggressive defence. Here's uh, a look at how it also so Aubrey launching to the inside here, pushing Harrison Scott out wide. Scott recovered very well, squirted back, and it just shows that if you run off that slick part of the circuit, it, you're going to understeer quite badly. Aubrey then thought better of it, tucked in behind Scott, and as they came towards Sandoval, Aubrey forcing the move to the inside, but then he was too deep on the brakes, over the kerb, crunch. Racing instant for, for my money. Scott squeezing a bit too hard then, but Aubrey committed to a move that was never going to work. I'm trying to see if uh, Aubrey had that front left wheel locked uh, for quite a long way. It's a little bit difficult to see uh, from the uh, pictures that we've got, but uh, really, I think both drivers had opportunities to uh, avoid that collision. And, and the we'll... following drivers behind. Again, this is the problem at Monaco, that there's so little room to uh, avoid accidents. In fact, the two drivers behind them were giving a pretty good uh, example of how you can go side by side into Sandoval, but poor Will Palmer uh, then found himself with a